Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review. Behind us is the new Škoda Karak facelift in Sportline. We're gonna check it in depth, see you into your details. So without further ado, let's just jump into the review. So ladies and gents, here is the new Škoda Karak facelift in the Sportline. This is the graphic gray metallic color we're gonna check out. And we have some nice black sport details. So uh, let's come to the front and check out the car. Now we do have the key and let me show you the key. So there's a lock, unlock and unlock the cargo. And have the Skoda symbol, it's uh, on the light side. You can press here, pull, and then you can extend the physical key. But if we unlock the car, you can see mirrors will unfold. And let's come a little bit closer check out the front so this is the new redesigned um, front end and back end and what i do love is the new led headlights so these are matrix of course you can see that the datum running lights turn into turn signals we're going to turn those on at the end of the video but you can see the new design there's like two steps you can see Skoda crystal lightning inside and then you have one lens on the top projector and then another lens on the bottom now i believe this is the long beam so the fog light is integrated in the top headlight cluster and uh, if i come to the front you can see the beautiful carrick so we have a, a longer drill like in the rest of the fleet and we have the air intake on the bottom well, here and on the top, of course. So, in the sport line, you get this grill frame in piano black. Here's the front radio for emergency braking and cruise distance if you spec that. Now, we have standard side tunneling on the sides. It comes in the piano black detail, but in the sport line, you get the front uh, lip in color of the vehicle, and then you get this sides in the uh, just unpainted plastic of course you still get the uh, washers for the front headlights now let's check on the front we have the lane assist and light and rain center there's also a center in the mirror for the automatic beam and you can see the sport line emblem on the side now uh, we have 18 inch alloys these are gray finish with silver let's call it basil around and these are gray aluminium metallic finish with this uh, plastic pieces that cover the lug nuts so this is for more better aerodynamics so it gives you a little bit more range this one came on michelin x green primacy three tires and this is 215.50 R18 tire dimension. Now, uh, on the sport line, you get this skirt in black plastic. So that kind of protects your bottom if you're going on a light off-road. But then this area is painted unlike the regular model. In the sport line, you get black surrounding for the windows and black metallic side mirrors and black finish shiny black finish aluminium roof racks tinted windows on the rear so have the shark fin and tenon black from Skoda and then you have the kind of spoiler that extend it is extending from the body but it has this nice tip so it's just a little bit different and then checking the rear so this is maybe the best part of the redesign are the new led taillights if i try to unlock the car you can see dynamic turn signals finally you can see the mirrors unfold and in the sport line you get the bottom part painted in the color of the vehicle and only the bottom end is in plastic but then you get this chrome finish and it definitely looks like a fake exhaust but I personally don't mind that and of course you get the Skoda leathers and Karak in black badges 
emphasizing a sport package. So this is the rear look. Now you have white LED license plates, lights, and you have a backing camera with a washer nozzle. Now I can either press to open or use the key. So you can see that. So you can see how that opens, fairly tall. Now over here you can see the cargo space. Now that is a really generous space and Škoda is known for a very spacious cargo space and spacious cabin. Now on the top you can press here to close. On the top it's plain. You have the stoppers and a shelf. You can of course remove that, but this is kind of narrow so um, you can put a lot of stuff up there. Now on the right side, you can see that they've removed the hooks we now have only on the left. You can adjust these, so these are grocery hooks. You can knock down the seats from both sides. And on the right side, there's a room here for the emergency triangle. There's a little cubby here. And there's a side room, you can put a fire extinguisher there. There are points here for the net. And there are two adopted points for the ISO fix. On the left, you have a 12 volt outlet and a little room down there. There are tether points here and here. And you can knock down the ski opening, just push this down and push it inside. The seats knock down 60, 40. And over here, there's like a finger of height. So it's nice and flat, easy to put cargo inside. And this is a false floor that's usually an option. You can see there's extra room down there. So you can slide this and just push it down. So you get a little extra. You can see that it's like five fingers of height over here as well. Or you can see if I remove that, that's the standard. And then there are no, nothing here to hold this, but I use my elbow and you can open up here you can see the spare tire, smaller dimensions, of course, but still spare tire, 18 inch. So that is practical. Now you can press here to close or you can use the key. I'm just gonna press it there. Nice and not too loud closing sound. Over here, when the car is unlocked, when it's locked, no one can steal your fuel. You unlock the car and then you unlock the fuel cap open here you get a little Škoda like a magnifier and a ice scraper it was removed so someone wouldn't steal it you can see your tire pressure here more luggage and people inside you need to have a higher tire pressure especially on the rear this is your diesel and add blue so if you are refueling your car you have smart features like or simply clever features Škoda call that uh, you can put it here so it doesn't go down and scrape your clear coat and there's a little drainage here, so you can wash this when you're in the car wash with no worries. So I gotta say, I love the facelift. Carrick was a nice looking family SUV, but now it looks even better. Now, if we unlock once again, of course, you can approach the car on the front. There's this, so you can just touch and open. So good opening and closing sound. The doors open fairly wide if you need to put a child seat inside. And over here you can see seals. So there's like double ceiling. Uh, very, fairly good soundproof up to 130 kilometers per hour. It's around 80, 85 miles per hour. Uh, over here you can put a key and turn it to lock from the inside if you have kids and you don't want them to open up. Uh, you can see factory tint is Roman five there if the camera would focus it's getting a little difficulties uh, odd spot and hard plastics on the back you have in the sport line this some sort of carbon fiber imitation and you have the ambient lights inside that's change depending on the driving mode speaker on the top nice handles to open this is very robust it's plastic but robust this is semi soft it's kind of on the hard side but soft it's not plastic have the power windows and you have nice uh, bottle areas, no carpet, feels a little bit cheap because it's plasticky, have a speaker there. 
Now, if you want to knock down the seats, just press here, it automatically pushes the seat. You can see there's a good shelf on the rear, so you can put some stuff there. You can see the black roof, still part of the sport line. And you can see when you have a shelf, there is almost flat here. There's a seat aligner, so it's not in the way. Of course, you can adjust the headrests. If you have a child seat here, you have to remove this plastic for the anchors. And these are the sport cloth seats. Have the some sort of like a white uh, stitches. And these are classical Skoda, we saw this. So this is the same. You have a nice footwell room there. There's a light and you can see AC vents for the rear. Now, I want to emphasize as well that the doors go all the way down so you, when you're washing the car, it's a good thing. And uh, let's sit inside. So I am a two meter tall person if you're new to the channel or 6.6 in feet. And there's plenty of feet room. The seat is in the lowest position and plenty of knee room. You have nice pockets here. So these are sports seats you can see here from Skoda. On the rear we have AC vents, so space there, and a 12 volt outlet, USB-C for fast charging, and a uh, European Shuko, but this is one uh, shape of an iPhone, it's not a round outlet. So that's pretty practical, you have a ton tall transmission tunnel, but it's not too wide. On the middle it's quite comfortable and the seats are profiled. They are comfy, especially in the winter with the cloth. Maybe in the summer, some people prefer those instead of the leather. But maybe you can squeeze the third person on the rear. You have the three cup sizes or maybe two. This is rubberized and this is cloth. Of course, you can open here if you need to put a ski or something similar. And the windows are nice and tall. You have a big C pillar window and it's in general a very good overview on the rear and as you can see they try to maximize the space here in Chicago I know it's dark but you can see that now uh, you have all four sides slowly closing handles you have hooks there and in the B pillar now let's hear the closing sound it's a good closing sound and to show you on the top now the switch is off not to kill the full battery but you can see I actually can at the moment let me see if I open up a door uh, okay, you'll have to trust me that these are white LEDs in the, I believe, style and the sport line. In the life package, these are just um, bulbs and warm lights. So have that in mind. And over here, you can see the front. We're going to check if there are any changes, but they're really small. And just to show you, so headspace for a two meter tall person, I can straighten up my back and my head and I'm I can relax. Uh, I wish you can tilt the seats, but you can't. I think only in the Kodiak that's available. And uh, I'm touching maybe barely with my hair, so there's plenty of headspace. Now let's get on the front. Now getting on the front, it's quite easy to exit the car and enter the car since it's tall. Now we don't have any blind spot warning. I think you can expect that. Uh, there's no blind spot in the mirror itself but there is a turn signal facing the driver. That's a nice detail. Now, front also just good opening and closing sound we used in a Skoda. Front doors open maybe a bit wider, same seals. I apologize if there's noise in the background, there's just some constructions inside the salon that I didn't expect. The occasional, you can see this flashes red when the car is locked and this is soft. And then everything is as on the back. You have the ambient lights. This is also like semi-soft. You have power windows. You can fold and heat. In reverse, you can dip the right mirror. All automatic power windows. And you can lock the rear for the kids. This is just a reflector. And there's no carpet inside here. You have this, but there's enough room for a water bottle, speaker here and here. And you can open or close from the driver position. The trunk, the trunk or cargo area, boot space, whatever you call it in your country. Aluminum doorstep, park, 
looking nice. And over here we have the sport seats. So this is manual, you can of course pack the electronic ones or the powered seats. This is for up and down, tilt and a lumbar. Push that one up and you can slide back and forth the whole seat. There is a knee area, but you can't control the height of it. I think you need to go for the power option seats in that case. And these are, again, textile. Fairly good because they have nice big bolsters, even on the top. In this case, the headrest is um, not adjustable. You have the aluminum sport paddles. Uh, I forgot in my ambition package to show you this. There's a little area you can put maybe yeah, like a uh, card here, maybe a garage opener. They've removed the cloth, so it's kind of bare plastic. Uh, keep your lights on automatic, especially at night. Uh, fog light front and rear. Now, uh, of course, uh, it's on off uh, to kill the 12 volt battery. You can adjust the steering column manually, and this is your cruise control options. View at the top, and let's hop inside. Let's hear the closing sound. That's a good closing sound. Now, have in mind, I'm sitting in the front, two meters tall, I have enough knee room and enough room and I was sitting on the back as well. Switching to wide lens, this is the Skoda Carrick. Now there is a point of view test of the Ambition package. Same engine setup in this one, but just the manual, so check that out. Now I'm going to press start stop just to lower the window a bit because there's no AC. So I'd like to have some air coming inside. I'll come back to the infotainment, zooming back in course when you're uh, leaving the car then you get the information for your trip and so on and you have a nice avatar now steering wheel uh, you have a nicely textured leather and it's perforated on the sides flat bottom have the sport line emblem on the bottom and it's a three spoke you can of course spec a three spoke in other models but usually it's then a two spoke option you have the heated steering wheel voice commands uh, pages for the radio volume up and down press into mute and then over here you have the assist cruise control uh, or speed limiter and pages for the virtual cockpit and you control here and select stuff by pressing you have the sport pedals plus and minus wiper controls classic light turn signals and so on and this is the digital cockpit on the side you have the coolant and the fuel and over here we have piano black for the ambient lights it's not silver anymore now this is soft this is soft dash is soft you have air vents you can control these and open or close uh, a pillar speaker there and a still parking car holder simply clever features this is all soft and then you have air vents over there you can press here this is covered by flint so this is a fair space you can put some personal stuff in here and this is still the same dash. You still have the same Amundsen in this case. I think it's like eight inch screen. Um, but if I press here, I'm gonna turn on the infotainment a little bit later, but this is still the same and reliable. Now again, soft, soft. And over here we have AC controls. So it's nice physical controls. Have the heated seats, air load directions, close air circulation, climate off. Uh, menu, turn it on on the top, and then automatic AC on or off, max blow on the front and rear defrost, auto start stop off, parking sensors, hazards, you can see in the mirrors, you can lock unlock from the inside, car usually locks when you start driving above 10 kilometers or 20, 15, something like that, passenger airbag information, and on the bottom, you have this to hold, now we have a, this is like still paint protection film from the delivery, but it's piano black. We have a QI smart charger. This is rubberized and we have the 12 volt outlet there and the two USB-Cs for fast charging, I think. But in this case, it only shows media, but I believe at least one should be for faster charging. But this, these are usually fast. Have the seven speed automatic from Škoda. Press in, it's nice and big and bulky, part reverse neutral drive, and you can use it as the Tronic, push to the side for manual control. And you have the driving modes here, auto hold, electronic parking brake, and traction off. I'm not sure if this blank was 
or anything through the history <clears throat> of the Carrick. Piano black, a little bit, uh, not a huge fan, but it is what it is. Uh, we have this, this is some sort of like leather imitation, stitching there, contrast, has levels, you can retract, go up. And we have from Skoda this really spacious cubby space there. You can turn this like this or like this. You can place your smart key here. These are for Coca-Cola bottle. You can put it then and then unscrew the cap. It won't spin the bottle. Not sure what this is for. And you can put some coins here. And uh, the ash is soft. And on the bottom, it's hard plastic. This is soft as well. Press here, slowly opening. No carpet inside or flint this bare plastic you have coins uh, holders pen and business card but you got have still AC controls so you can cool your drink inside no DVD or SD cards anymore it's all USB-C or Bluetooth these days or you can have Wi-Fi as well seats are quite comfortable and moving to the top you have the they introduced the basil now now the camera Let's try to focus, but you can see the basil. Used to be basil, let's look more premium. Of course, this is auto dimming and the side mirrors as well. Now over here you have the white LEDs. So this is again just off, not to go to full battery. You have the emergency call, road assistance, and not sure what the info button is for. This is the alarm system inside the car, which you should turn off if you have pets or you leave them inside for a short and over here this is rubberized you can put your sunglasses or glasses if you have uh, you know for reading and so on or driving over here you have the privacy mirror and white light just switched off and you have here a uh, documents holder now this is cold even in ambition but then these are warm lights for some reason now this doesn't extend, I, I've tested that, so this area is not covered and it cannot extend, unfortunately. And now you have a good overview, this is me, I'm a taller person, I can see the hood a little bit, I can see very good through the mirrors because it's nice and tall. Windows around you and front headspace, plenty of headspace, definitely approved for 2 meter tall people. Basketball player size uh, and start stop is here. So we're gonna turn it for briefly. I don't wanna kill the 12 volt battery. Uh, I'm going to turn on the AC because it's super hot in here. Now, uh, before I actually load the fan speed. Now, uh, some people are gonna ask, is the rear window go down fully? And it almost does, but I think that's pretty cool. Of course, you can use your key fob by holding the unlock button. You can lower all the windows to the position you like, and by holding the lock button, you can raise them, or you can raise them fully. Just keep it uh, on lock button until it finishes. Okay, you have it here: clock, watch, uh, two three faces. Used to be four in other cars. I'm gonna be fast on this one because I've showed it multiple times. You have the navigation here. By the way, if you switch the switch to the night. Uh, then you can control that, but keep your switch on automatic. And I'm just going to go briefly through this. Uh, it's giving me 12 volt battery warning. Uh, you can see vehicle here. Status, you have the nice monitor. You can here control virtual cockpit. You can, of course, customize the bubbles. I'm not going to go through those. You can see view one, view two, view three, and you can customize all of those. Driving data, consumption vehicle status and here settings like lights and so on so brief 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 uh, you can of course have radio stations okay there's some mu domestic music so uh, the bass speakers are quite decent but i would go for the canton the money is not an issue and here you have you can see all the assistance for the cruise control speed limiter emergency braking lane uh, assist and uh, and you can hear here traffic speed recognition and driver monitoring system. 12 volt battery died. I'm gonna try turning in once again, but um, it's quite difficult filming. Uh, they should hook the car on a 12 volt. You can have here aircon, it's a graphical interface, but I'm 
I'm going to just switch to this. You can use Smart Link to have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You can play with the settings here. Of course, those languages and multiple options. But I'm gonna switch that off. Uh, just to show you the uh, virtual cockpit, you have screens here. So you have this one, a classical one. You have this one with a lot of information and this one. Uh, if you want to see maps here, you can do that, but then it doesn't show it here. You have to then switch it through the main infotainment if you want to see it. You can see it on both. Uh, this is a sport. Uh, over here, you have lane assist, ACC limiter, and front assist. Now, if you press on the driving modes, I hope the battery will last that long. You can see here sport. Uh, this goes red. Uh, ambient lights go as well. You can have individual and eco. If you go to the individual, uh, you can change here. Steering, driving, ACC, light assistance, air condition, and you can reset them all. Driving mode, change. If you go to this one, you have sport and normal. That's it. So it's in eco in some options. Okay. Um, if I go to the classical, you can see here, you can press here and you can use a roller, add volume, convenience, speed, warning, oil temperature, trip. So those are all of your stuff that you can play with. And that's it. Uh, I can go show you the every single thing, but uh, the video will be too long and uh, the 12 volt battery just, it's not supporting it. Uh, I'm gonna tell them, of course, to put that car to the 12 volt uh, charger when they finish up. But I would like to show you the uh, LED lights on the front and rear. I'm pretty sure the battery will not survive that long, but let's go to the front and show you the front headlights. So this is when the headlights are on. You can see the new signature it has like two steps. You can see the bottom fogs as well. And just to go to the rear, you can see the new C shape. Now this is very sharp and looks like Audi like. If I switch to Dayton running lights, I'm gonna turn one of the train signals. You can see that the rear is dynamic now, and that looks very gorgeous. Coming to the front, oh, I managed to untie both my shoelaces, hope I won't stumble. And you can see that the daytime running light switches to turn signal. Now, I know some of you will want to see the fog lights. And you can see fog light on the left side for the rear. And then the front has fog lights, but yep, actually my mistake there at the bottom in this side projector there. So you can see that and you can see the front. Just go to crystal design. Okay, switch this off. So we're not damaging the battery. And off, off. Okay, and to wrap it up, the front bonnet. And it's below the batch, push it up. Now I have to use the little leg, colored in yellow. And you can see the funnel. You can, of course, buy the funnel if you have a older generation, I bought that from Mishkoda 3, you can just replace that. It works for all the Volkswagen Group cars for Audi, Seat, Volkswagen. And over here, you can see the four cylinder, it's a 2.0 TDI with 115 horsepower, a link to seven speed automatic as we saw. There's no more Skoda badge on the cover, but it is what it is. Let it drop, it closes perfectly. Now I'm gonna show you the spec. So this is the Carrick Sport line, of course, facelift. And you can see the spec that I've mentioned, 115 horsepower, 2.0 TDI. And now uh, there are standard equipment, there are a few options on this one. It's like travel assist. Um, I think it was like rear uh, divider for the false floor. You can see one year connection uh, for the infotainment, uh, support package. Uh, the three spoke, I mean, it's like an option that's 
think it's supposed to be also standard, but if you go like for the Bluetooth or something else in Croatia, it's like an option, an option. It's standard in the sport line. And then you have the Amundsen Plus and winter package. Uh, <clears throat> preparation for towing hook and and stuff like that. It's a few options, but uh, few, some of the text is missing because it's like really long. Uh, this is the final price in Croatia. Uh, this is 25% value added tax plus CO2 based tax, and it comes to 37 and a half thousand euros. So that was the Škoda Karak. I hope you like the car. I definitely do. So everyone, thank you for watching. Be a cool person, smash the like button, leave your comments below. How do you like the new facelift Sportline? And uh, if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel and click the little bell to get notified when I upload new videos and click on all notifications, otherwise you won't see them. So thanks for watching once again and see you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye.